This is the head cowologist here at Blue Dog Farm. My name's Dan. We're here today on this very blustery fall day to build some corner posts. Now, we do what's called mob raising or intensive pasture management or whatever you want to call it, where we move our cattle every day. And we utilize this uh, poly wire temporary fence, but if you want to make a corner in it, the post just kind of lean over. So I make corner posts to uh, make a sharp corner in uh, my temporary fence when I need to. Um, especially if you're not going clear across the field. That's easy. And uh, we just got some new pasture and the fence isn't complete so I can't go from fence to fence. So I need these corner posts and we're going to make some today. Let's get started.
So we got the, the four corner post done. Some of you are wondering what the rope's for. It's just some uh, some cord that I put on here because uh, a lot of times there'll be a, a fence spool end here and I can hang the spools on this cord and tighten up the fence. And, um, and then the other times uh, the, the wire will go through these insulators and, and make a 90 or so, uh, making it a corner. So we're going to take these out to the new place tomorrow and I'll show you exactly how they work. So we've got our corner post in here. Uh, as you can see, I've got some pretty good tension on the line and uh, it's not pulling over. They're moderately heavy. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, these are made out of repurposed broken off fence posts and just some four befores and two befores I had laying around. Uh, they work pretty well. I've got these insulators in here. You see how the wire goes around the back side and the insulators keep them up off the wood. And uh, I'm not ready to turn the electricity on. I've got some uh, tall grass problem over here I'm going to take care of with these. Mm -hmm. 